Hi, Sam here from Writesonic, and today I'm very excited to present our brand new keyword research feature. So this is a very powerful tool that will help you find the right keywords that you should be using for your articles, blog posts, product descriptions, landing pages, and all other forms of content to help you rank better on Google. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So if you see my screen, I'm here on the Writesonic dashboard, and I'll head over to our brand new Sonic editor. Inside the Sonic editor, now you'll see on the sidebar, there's a new option called keywords. So I'll just click on that. And this will load our keywords plugin. And this is basically where you enter in some topic, could be anything. So basically just describe the topic that you would like to get keywords for. And then the second thing that you need to do is to select a location, like which country would you like to retrieve keywords for? Because for every country, you know, the search volumes and the traffic volumes are different. So you can choose one according to your needs. So in this case, I'll just stick with US for now. And yeah, it's as simple as that. So for example, I'll just say AI in marketing as my topic. I'll keep US as default there and I'll click the identify keywords button. Now what this will do is it will go and research keywords using Google's keyword planner and a couple of different other systems as well. And it will come up with different metrics around that topic. So for the exact match, if you look at the exact match keywords, which is AI in marketing, it shows the difficulty level as 65. So this is a score which goes from zero to 100 and tells you the difficulty in ranking for that particular keyword on Google. So for example, a score from zero to something like 30, 40, it, it means that it's easy to rank for that keyword. Anything above that, it's moderately difficult. And anything above 65, 70 is basically quite hard to rank. And you would need to incorporate a couple of other factors as well, like backlinks and technical SEO and a lot of other things as well. So in this case, it gave a difficulty score of 65, which is hard, but not very hard. Second thing that you can also see here is volume. So volume basically shows how many people on a monthly basis search for that keyword on Google every month for this location. So in this case, it gave a figure of 1000. So on an average, a thousand people search for this keyword AI in marketing on Google on a monthly basis in the US. Second thing that you'll also see is the traffic. This is basically an estimation as to how much traffic the top result on Google would get on a monthly basis if this was the keyword that they were targeting. Of course, there are other keywords that your blog or your article would automatically rank for as well. So this is not a holistic indication of you know all the keywords for a page, but just for that specific keyword, what is the amount of traffic that the top result can get from Google for that keyword? Then let's scroll down. So we have a keywords tab here, and this gives you many other related keywords that are very similar to the topic or the initial keyword that we gave. So in this case, it gave AI in marketing, which was basically the root keyword. Apart from that, we also have AI in digital marketing, AI in content marketing, how to use AI in marketing. So a bunch of different keywords are present here. Now I'll quickly go through a couple of these other metrics displayed. So as I was just talking about, volume is basically an indication or an estimate from Google how many people actually search for that keyword on a monthly basis. Traffic is an indication as to how much traffic the first result on Google would get for this keyword. And then we also have the keyword difficulty score as we had here as well. So this basically indicates how hard or easy it is to rank for that particular keyword. So in this case, AI in marketing, it's difficult to rank, but at the same time, AI in digital marketing, it's relatively easier to rank. And then jumping onto the questions tab. So this is where you'll get other long form keywords or any kind of questions that people are asking for uh, on Google as well. So these are slightly bigger keywords of three words, five words, you know, long, slightly long tail keywords that will also help you in ranking as well. So for example, if you wanted to write a blog post on AI in marketing, your focus keyword can be, you know, let's say AI in marketing or AI in digital marketing. And for secondary keywords, you can use some of these other things like AI in content marketing, how to use AI in marketing, AI in marketing examples, 
and then some of these long tail keywords as well like you know generative ai in marketing which is a little bit uh, specific there and then uh, role of ai in marketing so all of these docking points you can cover and these will help you improve your ranking on google so that was a quick overview and now if we go to the bottom here you'll also see two different buttons here one is copy to clipboard so whatever uh, keywords you have selected here so let's say i select you know these three so i can just click on the copy button and then i can take it wherever i want i can paste it into the editor or i can use it in some other tool as well you can also directly just click the insert to editor button and it will also directly insert it into the editor what you can do then is so let's say i actually insert it into the editor now i can just select this click ask ai and then i can say something like write a paragraph using these keywords let's say and if you see it will write a paragraph for us based on that right same thing you can do for other things as well where you can use these keywords generate your seo titles generate your blog posts and any other forms of content as well and then finally the last thing here again any of those keywords that you select here you can also click the use keywords button and you can use these keywords directly in any of the other right sonic tools as well so for example if you wanted to produce an article using those keywords you can just select article writer 4.0 here and click the continue button this will open it directly in the ai writer 4.0 and you can generate a new article based on these keywords similarly there are other templates that are available on right sonic as well so any of these other tools also you can go through i'll just click ai article writer 4.0 for now and then i'll hit the continue button and yeah if you see it has automatically jumped to the ai article writer 4.0 it has skipped the first step which was to get the keywords as we just got the keywords already and has already inserted the keywords into our keywords tab now i can just enter in whatever my topic is so let's say use of ai in marketing and i can you know enter some of these other things click the generate button and this will proceed with the rest of the steps for creating my article and as you can see the first keyword here which was the focus keyword has been covered here similarly when you head over to the outline step this will also incorporate all of those keywords that we just listed down on the left hand side so a couple of outlines will include those three keywords for short sure. introduction to ai and marketing understanding ai and its impact ai and digital marketing so all of those keywords have been covered here and you can of course go through the rest of the flow and generate the entire article so that was a quick overview of this new keyword research plugin and uh, we hope you like it do use it and share your feedback and we'll constantly keep on iterating on this and keep on improving the data and the other capabilities that will be provided as part of this keyword research plugin so that was it for this video thanks for watching and do stay in touch we'll be back with another very cool feature very soon until then take care and thank you